Good day, everybody. Today is Friday, April the 21st, 2023, and this is Michelle with Michelle Okerson Blog. And this is your uh, daily devotion from Jesus Calling by Sarah Young. Scripture references are from my New King James Version Modern Life Study Bible. Um, before I get started, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be notified when I post a video. And also over on my other channel, um, Sweet Home Heaven, if you go over there, I am reading a chapter a day from a New King James, from a New King James Version Modern Life Study Bible, um, and I'm gonna, we'll be reading the whole Bible. I just picked up where I was at when I started that channel, which was, I was in the New Testament. So when we're done, we'll go back to um, Genesis and go from there as well. <coughs> we'll just go back <coughs> when we're done in Revelations. Okay. <coughs> so over there on Sweet Home Heaven, if you don't mind, go over there and subscribe. And I love to read comments. I appreciate Unspecified V. She's been so sweet and supportive. She always leaves me... Uh, nice comment nice sweet comments that they do put it they put a smile on my face okay let's get going let me control your mind the mind is the most re restless unruly part of mankind long after you have learned the discipline of holding your tongue your thoughts defy your will and set themselves up against me man is the pinnacle of my creation and the human man human mind is wondrously wondrously complex I risked all by granting you freedom to think for yourself, free will. This is godlike privilege, forever setting you apart from animals and robots. I made you in my image, precariously, precariously close to deity. Though my blood has fully redeemed you, your mind is the last bastion of rebellion. Open yourself to my radiant presence, letting my light <clears throat> permeate your thinking. When my spirit is controlling your mind, you are filled with life and peace. And that is so true, guys. It, it, before I get started, what is so weird is if I'm not reading my Bible, or if I'm not spending time in the Word every day, for me, um, the thing, old habits like, you know, maybe engaging in the gossip, um, which I try to completely ignore, um, when, you know, especially with my coworkers, but, uh, you know, next thing you know, you find yourself engaging in, you know, things that you normally wouldn't do. And it may not be, I mean, such horrible things, but th there are things that do not, uh, represent Jesus Christ. And when we go about our daily lives, we must go about representing, uh, Jesus Christ and, you know, abstaining from sin now that's not to say we're not going to be we're not going to commit a sin. We will, um, but why? What I find is so odd. It just goes to show you that the power that lies within God's word. If I don't read my Bible, then um, I just don't feel. I don't. I don't know. I don't feel peaceful. I guess, and I don't feel joy. The joy that I do whenever I spend time with Him. Anyway, I just, and, and something as simple as reading our Bible, you would think, you, you know, why, why don't we do it? Why, does it? why is it such a struggle? Only thing I can tell you is this, this the enemy trying to, trying to keep you from the peace and joy God want, has for you in his word. And, that, and that's my, my opinion. Okay, so the first scripture reference is Genesis 26 and 27. Okay, then God said, let us make man in our own image, in our image, according to our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. Him, them. All right, and then Romans 8, 6. <clears throat> for to be car carnally minded is death but to be spiritually minded is life and peace amen that is so true um i, I mean it's for okay let me just finish this and i'll, I'll chit chat with y'all maybe a minute or two if you got time if not you can stop the video 
the prayer of salvation for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Amen. And then the Lord's Prayer is Matthew 6, verses 9 through 13. In this manner, therefore, pray, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. So <clears throat> what I wanted to say was, it, you know, it, it, reading our Bible, um, it's not like it's uh, it's physically, you know, taxing. It's not. Um, and prayer, it, that's not physically taxing. Uh, but it's it's a, it's a being obedient to God, and that's why we fight with that that um, we fight at the with our spirit at war with the enemy who is trying his best. He can't take our salvation. But he can make it to where we're not a, an effective witness for Christ. And um, <clears throat> for little things, simple things for me, like, um, you know, the music I have in the car. Normally I listen to all contemporary Christians, but then sometimes I, you know, I, I, you know I've been in a car for four or five hours, you know, delivering pizzas. I don't know, some, I, I, I'll scan the channels. But what I found that when I get tired of listening to the contemporary Christian, um, if I find some channels that have good, good uh, preaching, um, I'll I'll listen to those too. But and also back whenever I was in Pensacola working at Pizza Hut there, I have a um, a set of um, of c CDs that uh, it's uh, audio reacting uh, audio. What's the word? Audio uh, reenactment of of uh, the Bible from Genesis to Revelation, and I would put those C CDs in and just listen to those whenever I would get, um, you know, just I'd get tired of listening to music. But anyway, um, there's something, I'll, guys. I, my memory is horrible, but I was going to tell y'all something. Oh, well, maybe it'll come to me later. Anyway, guys. I love y'all. Have a great Friday. I hope to see you tomorrow. Um, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified when I post a video. And head over to Sweet Home Heaven. Um, we finished up 1 Timothy chapter 6. Tomorrow we'll start 2 Timothy. All right. The goal over there is to uh, read the Bible all the way through. All right. Love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.